Taking every legs apart. Making a new bed. New bed. What kind of bed you're making me? A loft bed. Loft. We're making a family family day or family two days or something. We're gonna show you guys what we're doing. It's not gonna be this high tech loft thingy. But it's gonna be nice. So what we're basically doing is taking Mimi's bed apart. Yep. Scratched, dinked, and broke, so we'll be burning that. And we're taking this material here. Two by fours, two by sixes, plywoods. We got screws, nails, and everything. So we're gonna be making a loft bed in her room, making more room. Yes. See you later. We're gonna be cutting the legs for the loft bed. We'll be uh, cutting off now because uh, that saw makes a hell of a lot of noise. Oh God. All right. Hey guys, we're going to use two and a half inches screws to put in the wood. So, drill it in. Come on. Perfect. And we're going to put another one at the other end. Make sure everything's nice and flush on both sides. Here too. If not, it's going to go all crooked. You're just going to be sleeping on a broken bed. Oh god. <laughs> What I'm going to do guys, I'm going to explain here the uh, the legs here. There's two different sizes here, okay? There's one here, the small one here is at uh, 42 inches. And I have this one here at 58. Why 58? Because our plywood's going to be sitting on here, as you can see. Her mattress is approximately 10 inches. And she's going to have like a 6 okay. inches of border. Maybe didn't want a border too wide. Because our uh, her room here is approximately seven, a little bit more than seven feet high. So it's small. yeah, so she's gonna get one of these upside the head. So she doesn't want that. All right, we'll screw them all together and we'll come back in a few minutes. So right now we are gonna do the frame of the bed. Yeah. The frame of the bed will be approximately the size of the mattress plus a couple of inches on both sides to give it a little plate. So in this case here it's 84 inches long, 42 inches wide, which will give me a little, a little space up there. So that thing is really loud. I'm going to shut it off right now. What's up guys? We're doing Mimi's bed. We got the frame done, we got the legs done, and now what we're going to be doing is putting these across here underneath. So whenever we put our plywood underneath where Mimi's going to put her mattress, it's going to be nice and solid everywhere. So we just measured, um, calculated I should say, 13 and a half inches. So what we're going to do, every 13 and a half inches, we're going to center it uh, 13 and a half. One right here, and one right here. So now what we're going to do is center these at 13 and a half, 13 and a half, screw them in, 13 and a half, another one, another one, another one, another one, and so forth. Flip it around, put the plywood on top, put them on the legs, 
We'll be almost done. See you in a bit. Hey guys, we are putting the legs on the frame and we put the crosses for the bed. We put them all solid everywhere here. So when we're done, we're going to flip this around, hold the other side and put the legs on, and then we're going to put the plywood on top. So while we do this, I'll be back and show you how it is after. I got that on film. <laughs> it hit another screw right on the top. Stuff happens, eh, Dad? Yeah. It does happen a lot, but when it does... It's our second time it happened. Okay. This one. And it happened again. But I didn't see it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Technically, it's my bed, but we just finished building it, like what, I mean, not even two minutes ago. What about that? Yeah. We're not quite done yet, because we want to make, like... I'm going to go behind you, me. We're going to make a space here to put my blankets, and I want to make a treasure chest to go under it, so there's going to be more space to it. So, yeah. So, yeah, really. So, basically, guys, I'm going to show you underneath. It's all framed out in two by fours, so it's nice and solid. It's the half inch plywood. So she's not going nowhere. We're gonna stain it in a couple of hours, so oh, and then it's, it's all gonna be stained in one in one kind of stain. We're going mini wax. Uh, it is called uh, early American. It is a really nice stain, guys. Yeah. Yeah. We're, We've got the brushes. Got the brushes. We're gonna stain everything, but. The platform here is gonna it can ruin my bed or whatever. But but technically yeah. this is my thing. Team, we also took her big armoire, which was way up to the ceiling. We couldn't even start the ceiling fan. If you can of it. see here, this is what happened when the the ceiling fan hit it and it kind of dented it a bit. So we put it equal to her bed. So if she has her little TV, she put it on top there. I'm gonna put my shoes there, my clothes there. Lots of room. Yeah. You've got a lot of room. So guys, this is what she looks like. Hopefully it helped for whoever wants to make one. We'll try to put some measurements underneath, eh, Amy? Yeah, put some measurements that we had in the description bar below. So you guys can go check it out. If ever you want to make one yourself or if it interests you. So. That's pretty much what it looks like right now, but we'll show you what it looks like after it's stained and sort of dry. Still got a bit to go. Alright guys, Peace out. so hopefully you like this video and subscribe. Don't forget to show your friends and check my channel every time I get a new video. So thanks for watching. Bye. Peace out. Citizen so Peace out.